Hello Diaries, I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, I want to address some issues concerning birth certificates and the application process or applying for nursing and how to handle it. I've spoken about birth certificates in the past, but let's just address some of the questions that I'm seeing on, on the channel and how you can navigate the problems you have with it, okay? So let's dive right in. So the first question is, is that is it true without birth certificate you can't apply for the application process what you need the birth certificate for is to fill in data about your birth so your place of birth the district where you were born and all of that and also on your birth certificate you get the right date of birth the spelling of your name how your parents gave you the name and how it's spelled and all of that so even if you don't have your birth certificate with you when you are doing the application online just make sure that the data you are entering corresponds or is exactly what is on your birth certificate so that there will not be conflicts between the uh, informations you are entering okay so aside that you don't really need the birth certificate for the application process what you need the birth certificate for is for your interview because it's an important document it's an important requirement that you need to go with during your interview so yeah for the interview it's a must but for the application process you just need the information that is on there okay the next question and this one i'm i'm this one, i'm using this one as a case study for some of the issues some of you have and this one uh, is from Stephanie Wusu, and she says, this has been the name I use from JHS to SHS. Stephanie said, wa Wusu. But recently I found out that the name on my original certificate is Stephanie said, wa Wusu. So the Stephanie is spelled differently from the one she has been using and the Sewa has an extra A. And these are some of the issues. Names are very sensitive, okay? Names are very sensitive. And so we have to be mindful of how we spell our names. If the problem is just with the best certificates, so in this case, Stephanie Sewa also is with the, the Stephanie spelled with I-E and the Sewa spelled with one A. If the problem is just on the best certificates and your BEC certificate, your uh, WASI certificates from JHS and your other ID cards are all spelled with the IE for Stephanie and 1A for Sewa. Then my best advice is that you do a new best certificate because the problem is just the best certificate. So you do a new best certificate and put the names that you have been using all along on that best certificate. The same applies to those who are using three names but only have two names on their birth certificate like in my case when i was going to nursing school the name that i have been using throughout my jhs and shs was belinda selassie agboga but apparently on my birth certificate it was just selassie agboga so i had to do a new birth certificate to include the belinda that is not on my birth certificate because it's easier to do a new birth certificate than to get a new WASI certificate or a new BC and all of that, okay? So yeah, if you have problems with the spelling of your name, extra names not being on the birth certificates, then you can just do a new birth certificate to cover it up. But in cases where it's always different, your ID card has different spelling, your birth certificate has different spelling, your uh, WASI certificate has different spelling, then in this case, you just need an affidavit. The affidavit will list the names and where it appears. I'm looking for my affidavit to show you. So I found my affidavit. So the affidavit will list all the mistakes in, in the... Uh, I think this one I did it when I was... Uh, See, those are the two names that were appearing on two different documents. So, so the affidavit would declare that anywhere they see the different names is still referring to you. Okay, so that is what the affidavit does. So, like this one that I got, um, that I am 
is a declaration that it is you. That the following two names, Agbogan Belinda Selassie, and then the second name is Agbogan Selassie, which will have, which appears on my snitch card and my voter's ID card are all my names and refer to the same person. And that I am making this solemn declaration, testifying and confirming that the two names stated above are all my names and refer to the same person. That the authorities concerned should therefore take notice of it. So that is why you need the affidavit. So in cases where you have different spellings on all your documents, it will take a long time to fix all your documents. So the best way is to just get the affidavit and, and cover all of it. Most schools will accept the affidavit alone, but some schools will insist on a gazette. But before you can get a gazette, you have to get the affidavit before you can get the gazette. So start with the affidavit. The affidavit is easy to get. That day, no, Papa Padu will type it for you and you get your uh, affidavit. So affidavit is easy to get. You can get that one and put it down. And if during the interview time, the school insists on a gazette, or you feel like, okay, I just want to be safe, you can go and do the gazette and put it down so that anything that might rise up, your buttocks is covered. Okay? All right. The next question is, can I go, can you go with birth certificates for your interview? Mm -hmm. I think she's asking if you can go for interview without your birth certificate. I've already said it's an important requirement, so try as much as possible to get your birth certificate ready, okay? It might not affect you. It may affect you. You don't know. So why don't you just cover yourself so that either way, you know you are covered. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then I think I'll take this last one. Uh, please, to we those with affidavits, are we going to do photocopy and attach with our results or... Okay, so one thing you should know is that every original document is for you and you alone. You are not supposed to give any original document that is signed, that pertains to you, to anybody. Okay, so with, if you go and get an affidavit, you make photocopies of it and attach to whatever document you are sending. So let's say you're applying to three or more schools. You make three or more photocopies and attach to all the documents you'll be sending and keep the original. Okay, see the original has the red the red uh, sticker. Okay. Is it sticker or stamp? <laughs> it's a seal. It's a seal. So the original will have the red seal on it. That, this one is for you. So this one is for me. I've made a lot of photocopies of this one and I've submitted anytime I need it. But... The original is always for you. Your WASI certificate original is for you. Your birth certificate original is for you. You only make photocopies for the school. But you take the original along so that they will verify and know that it is for you. Because if it's not for you, you will get access to it. And one casa would be here now. We have photocopy. Now we be wrong. Okay. So yeah, that is all I have for you about birth certificates. I hope this is helpful. Like, share, and subscribe if you've not done that yet. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.